So we're here with Dr. Travis Fahey, and he's going to give us a little bit about his personal testimony of how he came here. So Dr. Fahey, how did you become, get in started in chiropractic care? Yeah, my story's pr pretty unique. I, I wasn't set to be a chiropractic from the beginning. I went to college. I, I joined the National Guard and went to college for, for business, for finance. And I was going to be an oil trader at the, the Chicago Board of Trade. And my National Guard unit actually ends up getting called up to, to deploy to Iraq. So I spent about a year over there, did over 200 missions. And when I came back, I was having a really hard time finding, finding work, finding a job, because a lot of employers, they weren't hiring people fresh out of combat for, for, for a job. So I was struggling with that. And you know, I come home. and. I thought I was a hero, you know. I was in charge of millions of dollars worth of equipment. Uh, I, I led missions where we protected the prime minister of Iraq on convoys, you know, all kinds of all kinds of crazy stuff, secret security clearance. And now it's just like I'm nobody when I came back, and and, and eventually I got to a point to where I was diagnosed with PTSD, combat anxiety disorder. And I was put on, I went to the VA and, and I was like, look, I don't want to deal with these problems anymore. And so their answer was to put me on four different psychotropic drugs, uh, put me on narcotic sleeping medication, and it just ended up getting, making my situation worse and worse to the point that I wound up homeless. And so we got to take a look at the situation now. The, high, the largest demographic of people going homeless in this country are veterans. We have two, 22 veterans per day committing suicide, and here I go, like I'm on that slope, I'm on that path to becoming another statistic. And it wasn't until some of my friends told another friend of mine, of theirs, who was a chiropractor, about my situation, and uh, he sat me down and, and he taught me about chiropractic. And at first I was, I was resistant, you know, I, was, I, was, I believed so much in the system, in, in the medical system, and everybody around me did too. So it was real, that was a, one of the hardest things to overcome was to completely divorce this whole dependence on drugs or, or medication. And finally, I just realized that, that that's what I had to do because obviously what I was doing wasn't working and where I was going was a dangerous path. So I, I decided to apply chiropractic to my life and, that, and that's when I realized that, that that was my purpose. Because coming home from Iraq, when I got to come home and other people didn't make it home, I had to choose to believe that there's some sort of purpose in my life. And here I was, I was homeless or I was in transition, transitional housing, veterans housing, or I was sleeping on friends' couches and I'm sitting here gr grieving my, my true potential because I can't even help myself out, let alone live out my purpose. So, so I decided to go to school. I was like, well, at least if I go to school, I have military benefits left over. I can use those, I won't starve. And so I got up on my feet and I, I went to school and um, you know, I overcame all of those conditions. I got, off, I got off all of those medications and I went to become a chiropractor. I started my own practice and it was growing, but it wasn't growing to, to its full potential. I wasn't reaching my full potential. I knew that it was either gonna be my ego of having my own practice and, and doing all this on my own, or follow my purpose and coming here and, and learning from, from you guys and, and from someone like Dr. Zeno. And so one of them had to give and it had to be my ego and I had to follow my, my purpose and that's what, how I, I, ended up, I ended up here. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.